An imperial garrison housed in a Khajiit estate. My half-sister spared no expense, I see. Prefect Kalo commands a full complement of soldiers, mostly seasoned Imperials and not the Nibbanese mercenaries that make up Euraxia's main forces. It's probable that Sorlinia and her assassination squad is here as well, so I advise caution. I prefer to avoid unnecessary bloodshed, of course, but these are enemy forces. Try not to alert the entire garrison to our presence. And keep an eye out for Captain Sorlinia or anything related to Euraxia's final order. We need to determine where the assassination squad plans to strike. If we're... As I said, the Dragon Guard I knew were the... I feel the weight of my years, and it gets worse the longer this goes on. In my younger days, I would have already corralled the dragons and banished the necromancers to a forgotten plane of oblivion. Too much to do in too little time. How good to join me. Let's talk. We need to speak quickly. I doubt I'll... This projection, a simple spell. Nothing to it, really. But that's not what I want to discuss. I'm hiding in an empty servant's quarters at the moment. I discovered that Prefect Kalo is no longer in charge here. In fact, he's been arrested. That's the thing. Prefect Kalo isn't really one of the Euraxians. His cohort of Imperials accompanied my half-sister into Rimen, but he's been a vocal opponent of her coup and subsequent claim of rulership. Kalo's probably being held in one of the lower levels. See if you can...
Interesting. You're not one of Euraxia's mercenaries. I'm Prefect Kalo, commander of the Cygnus Irregulars. And you're that outsider working with the Khajiiti militia. I expected you hours ago. It's elementary. I pay attention to every significant event that occurs in the region. Comes with my job description. I'm an Imperial without an Emperor. My cohort was assigned to accompany Euraxia on a fact-finding mission. She turned it into a conquest. I refused to direct order. Wouldn't give Solinia my soldiers or my file on the last Dragon Guard. So, here I am. How about this? You can find a copy of the report in my office. I'm a reasonable man. I have no great love for this land, but neither do I want to see it destroyed. Dragons were the last straw. In other words, conquer Rimen? Euraxia was sent on imperial business to a province that owed us fealty. There was no reason to conquer a place we historically controlled. No, it was complicated. Look, our quick visit turned into an invasion. Eura she burst into my office with orders from Euraxia, demanded I provide soldiers to support her assassination squad, then commanded that I turn over my file on this so-called last dragon guard. I politely refused both requests, and she had me arrested. An elite unit of mercenaries. They're rabid dogs that Euraxia points at her enemies. Well, that puts a new spin on the situation. Solenia took my file. Then she and her soldiers went to assassinate this supposed last dragon guard to appease. Not much. I never got around to reviewing the report. You can read it yourself. I see you found the report. Now we can continue our conversation without being separated by those inconvenient bars. Ah, there you are. And I see you've captured Prefect Kalo. I presume he surrendered without a fight. Don't look so shocked. My irregulars are very good at what they do. It was simple enough for them to sneak in and set me free. As I said, we were never willing participants in Euraxia's conquest of Northern Elsewhere. My irregulars did as little as possible to advance her agenda, and we worked to sabotage it as often as not. The dragons won't stop after they kill or subjugate the Khajiit. We're in as much danger as everyone else. If Lord Garesh Ri pardons my soldiers, we'll help fight the dragons. But Grand Chancellor. I propose that you get Garesh Ri to pardon the Cygnus Irregulars so we can form an alliance. An alliance? Interesting. Comrades would be helpful in the battles to come. I'll return to Rimen, plead Kalo's case, and send someone to help you. Meanwhile, I suggest you start your search for the Shrine at the Stitches.
You have come to Cicatrice in a time of great danger, traveler friend. Toxic fumes permeate the air, and corpses walk among the ruins. We were exploring the nearby oasis caverns when the fumes first began to spread. I would need to first create an antidote. However, I require samples from corpses that have absorbed the fumes. Thank you for the aid, traveler friend. The undead walk the ruins of Cicatrice. Directly when the Nahatan flu devastated Cicatrice, its people fled into the safety of the nearby oasis. Yes, it is by her letters that I know of Cicatrice's suffering. I hope to find my mother's research and share her findings. When we entered the caverns of the oasis, all seemed quiet. Then... Najira will go alone. She will not sit idle while her friends suffer. Please, don't be foolish. Najira, wait. I am glad to see you unharmed. We... She fears for our companion's safety. I urged her to wait, for without an antidote she will quickly succumb to the fumes as well. A cactus with a bright pink flower. It has... Thank you once more for your aid, traveler.
How dare you intrude upon my oasis? Place now! <laughs> Yes, this sh my antidote is nearly complete. All I need a Nereid, most peculiar. I wonder if she's somehow connected to the oasis. Thank you, traveler friend. I feared to ask, but already you volunteer. My egg mother attempted to develop a cure for the Nahatan flu when it first struck Cicatrice. Here you are, traveler friend. Let us hope this potion has the desired effect. You must leave here now. Iokas, I knew he would not abandon us. You must... I will be all right. The fumes have weakened me, but not as much as the others. Jira should have listened to Iokas. Thank you for saving this foolish one, Walker. Thank you, Strain.
Is for a bungee to die here. Did I look? Where? It's not the fumes. I heard someone in the central chamber. It is all right, Laratan. I believe. Thank you for saving my companions. Thank the Hist. I was worried her research would be lost forever. Hmm. She writes of a Nereid who lives here. And... And how her research tainted the Oasis. I see. This must... The Nereid once made this Oasis a place of healing. But by filling these caverns with sickness and death, it drastically changed her. I'm afraid that the Nereid must be killed. She with your help, my Egg Mother's terrible mistake can finally be mended. Nereids are inherently linked to the body of water they inhabit. Precisely. As the clear waters of this oasis grew polluted, so too did her spirit. I'm afraid it will still take many years to fully heal the oasis.
Not good. I was afraid of this. It does my heart good to see you unharmed. In a way, I did learn what happened here. But I did not journey to Cicatrice to seek her good intentions. There has been much animosity between the Khajiit and Argonian races because of the Nahatan flu. My Through her research and sacrifice, I had hoped to bridge the gap between our people, prove that Argonians are not the cold-blooded monsters so many see us as. I do not know. I must reflect on this. Still, I thank you for all that you've done. You saved my companions, found my egg mother's research, and helped the oasis begin to heal. May your path be easy and your footsteps sure. The foul wind of our misfortune has turned into a gentle breeze. My I suspect both the fumes and the undead will linger for quite some time. The Khajiit look up to their skies and see dragons soaring overhead. They look up. The Nereid was the source of the corruption. It was her. All is well, egg brother. Your antidote.